Good afternoon, morning. Yes. I'm trying to be very specific about uh, the time at which I greet you because, you know, Seth's just saying good day just doesn't cut it anymore these days. And there are a few things, a few new developments. There is not going to be the video that I planned just yet. I still need to uh, figure out a few things for that, specifically the things I need to list. But um, there are a few new developments that I've been wanting to show you. So, um, I'll just uh, point the camera towards the side and I'll show you on my desk which I have the things that I've acquired. If you don't mind the clutter, of course, I'll start with box number one. I have recently, today actually, bought this thing. Yes, sir. I bought the 3DS with a remake of Rayman 2 in 3D. Actually, down a bit like that. There, there, there we go. There we go. But that's not all. You just wait. Last uh, Wednesday. No, wait. No, last Tuesday. Let's point this upwards a little bit. Last Tuesday. I went to the office of, well, you know, headquarters in uh, the Netherlands of Sony, and there was a little bit of a lottery there. And, um, well, guess who won? I sure as hell won something. Ta-da! Let's see if that's in screen. Yeah, that is quite possibly in screen. I won the PS3! And of course there's no use in just having a PS3 just like that because you need some things to connect it to get the full experience. So, aside from the 3DS, I made a few extra purchases. This is just a bag, this is the coupon that I'll keep. Internet cable because I've got enough room now to also connect that and a HDMI version 1.4 1.8 meters and I just can't wait I had to wait all week just to be able to open the box well I opened the box once to check if everything was in it but I haven't really pulled everything out just yet let me just uh, pull this thing up I hope there's going to be enough battery charge to do this whole thing it's not going to be much. Now, let's see. As you know, I've already opened it. But I haven't actually taken out the actual PS3 just yet. I actually basically checked the controller. My first PlayStation controller. Whoops which I already know how to work with thanks to work. Now let's see. Oof, that's gonna be a tough one. Hang on, you're gonna have to do it right in my mouth. Whoops. <laughs> there we go take that thing off. You, over there. Now let's see. Voila! Hello beauty! Ladies and gentlemen, I am now the proud owner of a PS3. Oof. Let's compare. Hmm. In width, they're the same. In height, the PS3 is just a little bit thinner. But I'm pretty sure it'll fit just neatly right on top of that there. So, two game consoles. What a luxury, really. Most uh, kids, like me, don't have this kind of luxury. Hmm. Well, there's not that much uh, battery power, so I'll... Uh, 
have to let you guys skip uh, uh, connecting this thing so uh, I'll see well you soon you'll see me in a few seconds regardless of how much time it takes me decided to put you guys on the charger so I took another look at the box I also grabbed out this thing because I wasn't finished unpacking yet that's the usual composite cable which you know is crap if you want to use the PlayStation 3 the USB cable to connect uh, and to charge the uh, controller because uh, this thing requires no batteries that's pretty cool compared to the Xbox but then again in the Xbox I also placed uh, rechargeable batteries so it's basically the same <laughs> and I never really recharge during play anyway because that's uh, well with the Xbox it wouldn't work but with the PlayStation meh then I'd have to be in a very fixed position and uh, the usual uh, AC uh, cord. Luckily, there's no big adapter uh, connected to it. <coughs> Microsoft. But uh, yeah, let's uh, let's put this baby together. You know what's really really cool about having an Xbox and a PlayStation 3 at the same time? When you have one uh, movie, specifically like this one. We already have it on DVD, but very recently bought the collector's edition on Blu-ray. You can make a little compare shot. Now when you're looking at this, and I'll have to make sure you get the full detail zoomed in there, that's kind of blurry. Now, where's the remote? That strap there is rather blurry. Okay, so let's take a look when we switch to the HD source. Now this is the Blu-ray. The other one was the DVD being stretched. This is the Blu-ray quality. You can definitely notice a difference, especially if I make a little skip frame right now. You can count every little hair on his friggin' face. You're not in Kansas anymore. That's exactly the line where I freeze, froze them at. So yeah, if I actually press play on them both at the same time, I could actually compare. You know, eventually when they go out of sync, it means I've missed a scene. Because I'm playing the extended version, the director's cut, on the uh, collector's edition. So, uh, yeah, I think I'm going to show some other people too. I'll see you guys uh, probably in a few seconds for you. There. So, just finished uh, watching the director's cut of Avatar, and the only thing I could think of is, well, firstly, Blu-ray fucking rocks. I love Blu-ray. Full HD movies are fucking awesome. I've watched the original movie as well, I've watched it in theaters in 3D, and... I can only wonder, which is case two by the way, I can only wonder why the hell did they cut all the things that were in the director's cut. The director's cut is the way the movie should have been, because the director's cut had all these story elements, character developments in, to a certain degree. It had things the movie needed. Why did they cut those out instead of just the filler shots that the movie has plentiful? Oh well. If anyway, if anybody wants to watch the Avatar movie the way it was supposed to be, get one of these. Whether it's for DVD or Blu-ray, it doesn't matter as long as you get the one that actually has the director's cut version on it. 60 minutes of uh, extra material that had been cut out from the movie in theaters. 
Seriously. Different opening. Completely different center. Uh, well, same ending as you just saw. Um, let's see. Um, um, which button takes out the disc from a distance? That's the menu. Oh, what? Never mind. There we go. I'm starting to... Hang on, I'll just put on an extra light here. Excuse me? There we go. Doesn't make much of a difference, but at least a little bit. Uh, not so much here. Yes, I picked out my pistol because I'm an action-y kind of guy. But yeah, uh, why all the extra boxing? I'm the kind of guy that never throws any of that stuff away, so for me it's going to be a whole lot of extra work. Anyway, I've enjoyed having my Blu-ray player dash uh, game console, which I don't have any games for yet, and I've also been enjoying the 3DS. Oh, fuck's sake. So, hang on. Uh, gotta put you down. There. There you go. So, don't know what else to really say. Watched it. I'm pretty sure I knew something to say, but I just forgot. Mm, maybe show my 3DS, but you know, the problem with that is <clears throat> this camera has only one lens, meaning that all I can show you is 2D. Little bleep. Oh well. At least I'm sure it's off now. Let's grab that thingy so I can. Don't need to hold you all, all the time. There you go. Uh, getting comfortable. So, yeah, 3DS. Uh, the PlayStation, well, I just described why that's an awesome device. 3DS is also very awesome because. Well, the games, of course, are awesome. We're playing Rayman in 3D at the moment. Which I'm sure you can see. Well, actually, I just if I... No. So you see those lines? That's because it's in 3D mode right now. If I turn the 3D slider off... See, you don't have that anymore. The thing is, I read that uh, in order to get in the 3D effect, did he just, yeah, he did, just stuck his tongue out at me. In order to gain the 3D effect, there's actually 800 pixels in this screen, while the screen is actually 400 pixels wide. So, to do the dip thing, I don't know, something to that. One, eye, The left eye sees 400 pixels, the right eye sees four, uh, 400 pixels, blah, 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 yada, yada, yada. Uh, this Rayman game, uh, all that little bottom screen does is show some information. Not much. Kind of a waste of a screen, but all the same, it's very nice to see the 3D effect. And I think I'm going to be looking for the Metal Gear... No? Yeah, the Metal Gear uh, game as well. That definitely looks like uh, the kind of launch title that I want to get. Because the graphics looks fucking awesome. Besides, I... I think it was a remake of Metal Gear Solid. Hmm, not sure. Seemed to be. I have a little book about it here somewhere, but oh well. Um, I'm gonna have to cut out if I don't remember what I was going to say. Basically, I've compared the DVD uh, stretching versus the. Uh, Versus the Blu-ray, I actually have another movie. <laughs> actually, I was gifted by uh, Sony. You know, uh, the normal gift actually was a Blu-ray of um, Public Enemies. Just looking at the cabinet where it is, and um, 
I guess that was just a random stroke of luck that I, you know, get a gift of a Blu-ray when I just acquired something that can play a Blu-ray. But I didn't feel like watching Public Enemies, but I did feel like watching the new Avatar. Well, the Avatar as it was meant to be. I've said that a couple of times now. Um, hang on, I'm going to think for a moment.